I am Claire Olson, the Senior Corporate Chef at Newlyweds Foods. It is July and this month we are talking breakfast. Unfortunately, the summer is pretty much half over and before you know it, we are going to be back to school, rushing around in the morning and you know what they say, that breakfast is probably the most important meal of the day. Unfortunately, to me, breakfast is the most boring meal of the day. We're rushed, we tend to go to the same old tried and true items that we like, and there's not a lot of room for creativity when it comes to breakfast. So first off, we used a Newlyweds Foods cream cake mix, and we made a triple berry coffee cake, and we made apple pecan muffins. And the great part about this is that you can make a big batch on the weekends and you can have a really fun and interesting and delicious breakfast every morning of the week. Next up are pancakes. So I don't know about you, but in my house, number one, pancakes are kind of time consuming and no matter what, we all can't agree on what type of pancakes we want. So I used a Newlyweds Foods pancake batter and I made a sheet pan pancake. I made a strawberry and toasted almond, a lemon blueberry, a s'mores, and a banana toffee pancake all in one sheet pan. It was quick and the mess was half of what it would be normally. After pancakes, we worked on another American breakfast favorite, French toast. However, we wanted to put a little spin on our French toast. We used a Newlyweds English muffin and dipped it into a Newlyweds French toast batter. After that was cooked, we topped it with a lemon and honey with ricotta and a cherry combo. The next couple of breakfast items we worked on, we kind of went a little bit out of our comfort zone. Not only did we switch from sweet to savory, we also worked on a couple international recipes. First up is a very popular Chinese street food, John Bing. We used a Newlyweds Foods crepe batter and also a Newlyweds Foods chili sauce. It's a crepe, an egg, some fried wontons, lettuce, coriander, all that mixed up into a handheld delicious breakfast treat. The next recipe we worked on is a breakfast empanada. Now breakfast burritos are quite common, but we thought we'd give it a little bit of a twist and put some eggs, cheese, a Newlyweds Foods Ranchero sauce, some chorizo using a Newlyweds Foods chorizo seasoning, and wrap it up into a pastry and fry it for a delicious, unique breakfast treat. Last, but certainly not least, is a popular dish in the Middle East and North Africa. It's shakshuka. Basically, shakshuka is poached eggs in a thick and chunky tomato sauce. For our version, we added a Newlyweds Foods harissa seasoning, also some breakfast sausage and roasted eggplant to give it a little bit of an interesting twist. So there you have it, a few different breakfast recipes for you to go and try and hopefully get out of your breakfast comfort zone. I just wanted to say thank you for joining us this month and we'll see you guys next time.